What's up guys, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bass. In today's video, another underwater video. Today we are talking my top five drop shot baits. You know, this was a hard video to try and narrow down the baits, but today's video we're gonna go, uh, gonna go through my top five baits for different circumstances, different species, and most importantly, show you guys some underwater footage to uh, kind of show you why I like the specific baits. Let's go. So drop shot is an often overlooked technique. You know, what I find in most fishermen, most power fishermen, if you will, is, uh, you know, they always resort to a drop shot in a worst case scenario, right? You know, they've thrown their square bills, they've thrown their big top waters or big swim baits, but uh, they have that one spinning rod on the deck just in case the bite gets tough. And it, it's kind of funny because, you know, to me, a drop shot can be fished as a power shot. You know, you can flip it on straight braid into heavy cover. You can power fish with a drop shot. That's not what we're gonna talk about today, but it is a very universal bait, a very universal technique, and you can adjust it, you know, four pound test all the way up to, like I said, straight, you know, 50 pound braid, flipping it into to bushes and such but a drop shot doesn't necessarily have to be that bait that uh, you only go to when the bite gets tough. Yes, it works very well when the bite is tough because it does present that, that bait suspended in their face, but it works all the time. You know, you'll see a lot of these guys on uh, any of the pro circuits these days, you watch any of the live footage, you'll see a lot of those guys throwing, heck, sometimes they're throwing Texas rig drop shot, you know, weedless on 12 to 15 pound fluoro on a bait caster. So you don't even necessarily have to throw a drop shot on a spinning rod. Yes, it is considered a finesse technique, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. But today's video, I'm gonna show you my top five baits, uh, my drop top five drop shot baits, because depending on the type of fish you're fishing for, spotted bass, smallmouth, or largemouth, to me, I change up the baits, the size, the action, that sort of stuff. So to start it off, let's start off by talking about the Texas rig drop shot. You know, now where this shines, this shines when you're fishing around grass. You know, you don't have that exposed hook, so you can fish through the weed lines, you can fish around that, that uh, the wood or toolies, bulrushes, that sort of stuff, and you can get away with still throwing your favorite five or six inch worm. To me, my favorite six inch worm is gonna be this guy right here. This is the six inch straight tail. You know, robo worm has been around for, for a long, long time. Uh, coming from the West Coast, it is my number one go-to drop shot if I am fishing for largemouth. I just like that, that longer, longer bait. You know, I'm fishing for larger fish, I'm not really finesse fishing with four or six pound test per se. So I can get away with heavier line. I can get away with heavier hook, you know, that Texas rig bait on a bait caster, but that six inch bait just has so much flow through it. You know, looking at some of this underwater footage, you can see that bait sits very uh, level in the water. And uh, more importantly, it doesn't take a lot of rod action to get that bait to shimmy. Now with that said, I typically do not throw uh, the six inch bait for smallmouth or spots. Now you can kind of see why. Look at this smallmouth right here, just coming up and grabbing the back of the bait. You know, it's a little too much bait for those smallmouth. Uh, you know, I, that's where I will go with some smaller baits and we'll get into those in just a second this video. But that six inch robo worm, the, the, the colors are phenomenal. You can get whatever color you want. My hands down, my favorite is gonna be this guy right here, that MM3. Uh, Margarita Mutilator 3, no matter where we've been in the country, it always seems to work. You know, another great one's Morning Dawn or Aaron's Magic. Uh, just like every video, I will link my favorite baits down below in the video description, along with colors and, uh, and also the gear. So that is my number one bait. If I am going largemouth fishing, if I'm fishing around grass lines, I'm gonna go with that Texas rig setup. Again, I'll link the hooks and stuff down below in the video description. If I am fishing open water, that's when I will go with the nose hook bait. You know, that's the four and a half inch. I'll talk about that bait here in a second. But 
you can see the exposed hook. Now the benefit of going with the exposed hook, it doesn't over that power the bait. You know, looking at some of this footage underwater, I really noticed when you go with a more beefy hook or a heavier, heavier wire hook, it kind of overpowers the baits and makes them kind of look funny in the water. So uh, when you are drop shot fishing, go with the lightest wire hook that you can get away with without losing that big fish or that giant. So you don't want that hook to overpower the action of the bait. The next bait that I really am excited to talk about is this guy right here. This is the net bait flex worm. Now I got back from that West Coast trip recently and I was doing a lot of underwater footage with this bait and I was blown away with how much action this bait had, how it just, it just meandered in the water, very natural looking. You didn't have to give that bait a lot of action. It's kind of got a flat bottom here, kind of a rib section on the side and a big keel on the top. So it keeps that worm upright, but this worm looked amazing underwater. And the cool thing about this worm, uh, you could Texas rig it. This is the five inch, it comes in a seven inch. So the seven inch, if you're fishing for, uh, for large mouth on the bait caster, I would go with the seven inch. But what's cool about this worm is it's symmetrical. You know, a lot of these worms I'm gonna talk about, they're gonna have a head and a tail section, two completely different shapes on the bodies. This is almost identical. So where that comes into play is gonna be wacky rig and a drop shot. Take your favorite nose hook, drop shot hook, and putting this bait on, you know, right down the middle. And now you have a lot more action, especially in the spring and summer months when those fish are very aggressive, you can get away with a ton of action. Now on the flip side, doing this video in the winter, I would pick completely different baits because I don't want a lot of action. I don't wanna overwork the fish or overwork the bait to, uh, uh, you wanna match the conditions when that water temp is cold and everything is kind of lethargic. So this bait right here, that net bait, that flex worm, stood out to me hands down out of all the baits I did underwater. This is gonna be one of my favorite, if not favorite, go-to drop shot baits from here on out. So that kind of, uh, that's kind of my five, six, seven inch baits. Uh, the other bait that kind of is a crossover to me, again, this, this video was really hard kind of, you guys, if you've followed me a long time, you, or Matt and I a long time, you know that, um, one, we love doing underwater footage. Two, I love finesse fishing. Uh, and there's a lot of little things you can do to tweak uh, your finesse fishing to, to get fish to commit and things that you can really analyze or overlook when you're finesse fishing. With that said, like I said a little bit ago, you don't wanna overpower your baits or overwork your baits in colder water. So you guys that are up north right now, coming out of that freeze, don't go with baits that have a ton of action just yet. Let that water warm up. Next bait, this guy right here. This is the Strike King Dream Shot. Now why I put this bait in the mix, again, I have a ton of baits that I like to throw. They all have their special circumstances, but narrowing it down to these five was a little difficult, but these are my top five because I have a ton of confidence in them. We've caught a ton of fish, smallmouth spots, largemouth, uh, but this guy right here, that's that it's four and four and a quarter, I believe, uh, dream shot. You can see it's got a fatter body, kind of neck down section, and then a little, little bulbous tail on there. Now, again, this is another bait that you're gonna rig on your nose hook setup, but this bait uh, works great for smallmouth spots and largemouth. I've caught all three species on it, uh, so that's why it made it into this list. It uh, has a lot of a lot of uh, dead stick action when you just let it sit there and let the current do the action. That little neck down section of that bait really gets that tail section shaking and works very well. Now let's get into my favorite um, smallmouth baits. Again, we talked about the largemouth. We talked about the crossover with that dream shot. Now let's talk about my favorite uh, smallmouth baits. And, and I got three more for you with some alternatives. That's kind of my cheat to get through the, get past the five, but hands down, favorite open water, favorite exposed drop shot hook for spots and smallmouth is gonna be this guy right here. You guys have heard me talk about it for a long, long time. That is the Big Bite Baits Smalley Smasher. Again, just like that Strike King, it has amazing subtle action. 
just giving that rod just a little bit of a shake, letting that current do what it does, and that bait with that neck down tail section just dances in the water. You know, it's got that real flat belly, so it likes to hang, uh, stay true, uh, doesn't really flip over. Again, if you start putting a heavier hook on it, a lot of these finessier baits will roll over. But this guy right here with that flat belly uh, loves to stay straight with that light hook. I like that mosquito light, that owner mosquito light, uh, and it works amazing. Again, real subtle action. You can get real aggressive if you want it, hopping it and stuff, and you'll see it just kind of swimming through the water. But that Smalley Smasher is an awesome, awesome bait. Now with that said, a lot of you guys love this bait right here. This is the Berkeley Flatworm. You guys that know, know how much these are worth. They're like, they're worth their weight in gold. The Flatworm, just like the Smalley Smasher, has that fairly same, you know, the Smalley Smasher comes in two sizes. Uh, if you gotta get finessey with them, you can go with that smaller size. This is the actual larger size. But you can see it really has that same profile, kind of that neck down tail section to that bulbous tail. Uh, the thing with the power bait or the, the Berkeley is you have that power bait. And uh, those of you guys up north know all the tournaments that have been won on, on this bait. It is phenomenal. So that is an alternative uh, to my favorite, that Smalley Smasher, because this bait straight up catches them too. Let me go through this one really quickly, only because we've already talked about the six inch. But those of you guys that like to throw the Robo Worm, uh, it's available in a four and a half inch size as well. You can see I have it rigged up right here on this rod. Now, any of those same conditions where you're fishing the Smalley Smasher or the, uh, that Strike King, this guy is an awesome alternative. It doesn't have as much action tail action as the Smalley Smasher or the Flatworm, but that guy is a winner. You can see how it just likes to lay real flat uh, in the water so you don't have to worry about it rolling over or looking stupid or overpowered with that hook, but that four and a half inch, you know, the benefit of the Robo Worm, like, he, like I said before, you get all of those different color combinations. So I, I want to say there's 50 or 60 colors. Um, so you can really figure out what the bait fish what those fish are keying in on your body of water. Sorry about the wind, guys. It seems like it always blows. But uh, you can figure out really the best color uh, selection for your fishery to really match the hatch. So we talked about that. The last bait that I want to talk about is this guy right here. This is the Damiki Armor Shad. Now we're talking about true finesse. This is when you're trying to mimic little silver sides, little bait fish. Uh, this is a little fork tail bait. It's got a swim bait kind of body on it. Let me rig one up for you guys real quick. It's got a swim bait body on it, but that little fork tail, you can see that right there. Now we're talking about ultra finesse, you know, a little two and a half, three inch bait that looks like a bait fish. So if you're fishing a fishery that has a lot of silver sides in it, a lot of small shad in it, and you are vertically fishing, that's where I really like to fish this guy, the Damiki Armor Shad. This comes in a, a paddle tail and a fork tail version. I like the fork tail, especially, especially for this technique. The paddle tail works great on the Damiki rig, but this drop shot right here, that is gonna be the next bait in my lineup. Now, hopefully you guys can see in all these different baits, I went from a six inch straight tail all the way down to a, a three inch fork tail uh, bait because it matters all about the type of bait that you are trying to imitate. Again, with these five or six baits, you will catch fish no matter where you are in the country. I will link my favorite colors down below, but anywhere from that six inch straight tail Robo Worm all the way down to that Damiki Armor Shad, you are covered with these baits across the country, no matter the size of the bait fish. With that said, those of you guys that have watched my in-depth drop shot videos before, you guys know that I like to drop shot a swim bait as well. The only difference is it's gonna have a paddle tail on it. Either the Kitek or this guy right here. This is the Megabass Hazdong. Hazdong, Hazdong, however you wanna say it. 
three inch. Pull this guy out real quick. So just like that Demiki Armor Shad, you're going ultra finesse. Now this is gonna be a bait where you're gonna fish either vertically or fish it very slow and, uh, and just, just shake it, just shimmy it. These two baits with the paddle tails on it, now you can swim it. So you can cast out past your suspended fish or past the fish that are down on bottom for you and bring that, that bait to you. You can swim it slowly or drag it fairly quickly, but with that tail section on there, with that little kicker tail, now you're drop shot in a swim bait and you just get that different action. So if you guys want to try that out, these are two phenomenal baits in that size category. Again, the three inch Mega Bass and the Kai Tech. this is the, the three inch Easy Shiner. So there you have it, guys. Uh, you know, there are so many drop shot baits on the market. When you go into your local tackle shop or you go on, online to Tackle Warehouse, you know, those pages or walls worth of drop shot baits, these baits all right here, get it done. So much success across the country. And like I said, you know, I, I left some of my, my favorites out, but I have a ton of confidence in these baits right here. So if you guys have any questions, please leave those down below in the comment section. I will try to get to those as soon as possible. If you guys have any recommend ba recommendations, also leave a comment down below. I'd like to hear your, your thoughts. If you guys like this video or love underwater footage or learn something from this video, please give us a thumbs up. Remember to turn on notifications. A lot of our subscribers have been let, letting us know lately that they're not getting notifications for our videos. And if they do, it's two or three days late, which is kind of weird. So we do videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and we do additional videos all the time. So make sure you click that little bell, turn on notifications, hit that like button. Remember to subscribe. As always, guys, we appreciate you. Have a good one.